What's up, Scorpio? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. Before we get into it, let me say happy birthday, Scorpio. It could be somebody's birthday today or whenever you get this reading, okay? So let's go on and get into it and see what it is that you need to know. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, my email, you guys, will be in the description box below. All right, so Scorpio, you can represent this king, okay? You could be someone who is a natural born leader, okay? So it's like even if you think back to, you know, jobs that you've had or being in friendships or different dynamics, like people have always looked to you as a guide or to lead them or help them. And some of y'all was like me, like, hell, I'm how I'm a guide and lead you. And hell, I'm trying to find my way, <laughs> you know, but it's because you are a natural born leader. You were always here and you were born to lead. You were born to guide and help other people, okay? You're a commander. You, you're a chief. You're someone who commands the room. You know, when you talk, people listen. It's because of the energy that you're in. So you can be a masculine energy, okay? You can be a feminine energy. A lot of times, you know, as a woman, we got to step into our masculine energy here because, you know, being single parents or whatever it is that you do, like, you got to be that man, right? So I feel like for some of you, you represent this king, whether you're a male or a female here. <clears throat> you can also be someone who creates something, okay? But it's like your creativity helps other people to see things in a different perspective. Okay, you use different dimensions, but it's like you use a deeper way. Like with your creativity, you're able to draw people in. You're able to get them to see the bigger picture or to see the story. So you can be an artist, you can be a painter, you know, you can be a sculptor, you can do something here, but it's like you're very creative here. And it's like whatever it is that you're creating, whatever it is that you're going to be displaying, here in the future, I feel like people are going to pay attention to you. They're going to notice you. They're going to listen to what you have to say because of your message. You can be someone who receives psychic downloads. So you can be someone like me, oftentimes your ears, or you'll hear high pitched noises in your ear. You may hear like little drumming or ringing noises in your ear. And it's your, it's the universe. It's your spirit, guys. It's your ancestors. There's somebody out there that's trying to communicate, okay? Spirit, <clears throat> spiritual gifts that allow access of higher information, guidance, light, or energy codes to enhance your spiritual wisdom, okay? It was crazy. The other day I was driving, and I felt this little ding in my ear, and I was like, what the hell? I looked up, and the police was like, probably, you know, I ain't going to say a few feet, but they was coming down the road, and I was speeding. So I guess that was my spirit guy telling me, slow your ass down before you get a ticket, okay? <laughs> so you are someone who's very intuitive, you know what I'm saying? You listen, you have that third eye chakra going on, baby. It's on point. It's lit. And you're able to receive these downloads, okay? And when you receive them, you got to listen to them. Because if you don't listen, Scorpio, they're going to keep giving it to you over and over and over again until you decide to listen. You also could be a physical empath. That means you have the ability to feel symptoms of other people's illnesses, okay? So, like, one of your kids, you know, before they get sick, you may get a headache or you may catch a cold or you may, you know, start to have physical symptoms of other people. You may have sympathy pains. For someone who's in labor, maybe you've been around someone who was pregnant and you know they over here hollering and you hollering right beside them. <laughs> yeah, that did happen to me. One of my best friends when I was a kid, she was pregnant. And it was like, I felt her because I asked, I was like, Bitch, are you okay? She's like, no, you made me have a baby. I was like, what? Because we had went to go watch the movie, What Lies Beneath. And y'all, I don't watch scary movies. So the whole time, every time something scary happened, I'm jumping on her ass. And next thing I know, <laughs> She, you know what I'm saying? We talked the next day and she done told me that she was in labor, but it was like that night after we left, like I was feeling like I was hurting and I didn't understand why. And that's why I called to check on her, okay? So you can be a physical empath and have physical pains for other people. All right, y'all, so let's get into it. <clears throat> All right, let me get a little cough drop. I don't know what's going on. Y'all, this weather crazy. I don't know. Y'all know the fall be crazy anyway because the morning times be cold and by noon, hell, you ready to put on you know, your shorts or whatnot, but it's like, I don't know. And I like to go outside in the morning. So I hope I ain't trying to catch a little cold or whatnot, but <clears throat> y'all excuse me for having to clear my throat pretty often here. All right, so let's go to this situationship. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. 
What messages do you have for my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios? What is a Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? <clears throat> messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Messages for my Scorpios. All right. So, Scorpio, there is someone in your energy that is resisting change, okay? And with this resisting change, this means that this person actually needs to go through some type of change. Like, they need to make some changes in their life if they're resisting it here. This is someone who just want to remain the same forever. So, this gives me the energy of, one, of someone who is scared of change, and two, someone who feels like they don't need to change. Like, when you mention change around this person, like, they are like they done seen a ghost. So, you know, this is something that frightens this person because this is someone who operates out of their ego and their pride, okay? And they pride and ego tell them all day, every day, baby, you don't need to change. You are fine just the way you are. Stop missing Scorpio. You know Scorpio be on that bullshit. You know they on their spiritual and light and all that shit, you know. But you fine. You ain't got to change. So whoever this person is, they're resisting change. They need to work on themselves, but they're resisting this, okay? But the problem is, for some of you, because I'm looking at these psychic downloads and you're very intuitive, okay? So I feel like for some of you, maybe you will want, look at this, my ear over here ringing this, we're seeing this right now. Come on, through spirit. For some of you, maybe this was someone who you were wanting. Like, it was some things about this person you didn't like. You was like, hey, I'm not going to deal with that shit. So you're going to work on that, and me and you're going to have to go and cut this show, okay? And so this person could have told you, all right, Scorpio, I, I work on myself. I do better. I do this. I do that. But the whole time, this person was scared of change. And I feel like for some of you, it took you a while to kind of pick up on the fact that this person might have actually been scared of change. Maybe one, it was the fact they didn't want to. You know, and for some of y'all, maybe someone here wanted to change. But with you scared of change, it's like you don't even know where to start. But the thing is, with you being intuitive, I feel like this could have been someone that told you, I'm going to work on myself, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But this person didn't, okay? And I feel like after a while, you started to pick up, pick up on this person's BS. And you was like, uh-huh. You know, you still doing the same old shit. Like, you could have been dealing with someone who had a pattern. You know, it was a pattern. It was, it was, you know, a certain way. Like, you could just sit up there and know this person's routine and how they did shit, okay? And I feel like you were able to see through this person's BS. Because they were telling you they were going to change. They was going to do this. They was going to do that. But you were still waiting. And you still waiting for some type of change. So, it's like, this person hate that you can see right through their bullshit. Because this is someone who I feel like been telling you, I'm going to change. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But you ain't seen them. You're dealing with someone who's toxic, okay? And they don't like to be held accountable for their actions, okay? This is a part of one of the things they need to change about themselves. If this person will do something, they'll say some old elf up stuff to you, Scorpio, or do something elf up and then sit back and act like, what you talking about, Scorpio? I ain't did nothing with you. What you mad for? This is someone who don't like to be held accountable. They don't like when you call them out on their bullshit is what I'm saying, okay? This is someone who feels like they can do what they want. Like, shit, I ain't got to change. I can do what I want. Ain't nothing happened to me yet. Like, this is one of them type people. And, you know, sometimes people, uh, spirit got to make a believer out of, out of somebody here, okay? You don't want to be around when spirit has to make a believer out of this person. Oh, y'all in my ear. Who am I talking about? All right, messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. So you're dealing with someone who was resisting change. They are resisting it, and they were scared of change, okay? But the whole time, I feel like this person fed you some BS about they was going to change. They was going to work on themselves. They were going to keep doing this and that, but they lied. This is someone who was toxic, okay? And this is someone who did not want to be held accountable for anything they did. They just wanted you to go, they just wanted you, Scorpio, to let them live their effed up life, think however it was that they thought, do whatever it is that they want to do, Scorpio, and don't say shit. How dare you correct this person? How dare you try to check this person, tell them about themselves and what they done did, Scorpio? Like, this is how this person felt about you. <laughs> Ooh, we... And now you got a fork in the road, Scorpio. There's a decision to be made. Is you going to keep on dealing with this toxic-ass person? Is you going to keep on listening to this person lies and them telling you, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that? You know, good dog on well, Scorpio, they ain't going to do nothing. Or is you going to move around, okay? And a lot of us that had to make these decisions. Y'all, this time I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm literally reading for myself right now, okay? See, this is someone who wanted to remain a mystery. They didn't want to reveal their true self to you. So I feel like in the beginning of this relationship, you could have been dealing with someone who was very charming and how they handled you. Like they was always 
kind of soft and affectionate and they handle you the way you're like oh you know this is a breath of fresh air this is way different from you know this other past person or whoever it was that you know you had dealt with before them like they made you feel like they were someone different but they weren't you know this is someone who really didn't want they didn't want you to see how effed up they was they didn't want you to see they were somebody who resisted change they didn't want you to see scorpio that they were somebody who didn't like to take accountability this person didn't want you to see them for who they truly were okay but right now, I feel like because of who you are and because you are here to lead, you're here to tell other people and to guide other people. So it's like, of course, you're going to see it. You may not see it at first because a lot of us be blinded by love. You know, love come in, Scorpio. Y'all know how we do when we get in love. Don't play. Y'all know how we is. So it's like, you know, during that time, you didn't see a lot of stuff. You probably missed a lot of red flags when it came to this person but i feel like now oh now you open like this book baby okay you see exactly who this person is and you see them for who they are okay messages for my scorpio what the scorpio needs to know yeah you were dealing with someone who was very emotionless for some of y'all okay there was the ice box where this person's heart used to be so they never really you know they could have been and that was the thing though you know, in the beginning, they could have got you because you would have never thought this. You know, you might have seen little things that shows you like, damn, this person is a little cold. They could be a little distant. They could be this and that. You know, you might have seen them do this to other people, but never imagined maybe this person is going to do it to you, okay? You were, you were dealing with someone who appeared to be cold. They, they appeared to be cold and hateful and heartless and all this stuff, but they were really holding back their true feelings for you, Okay. So someone here could have loved you, Scorpio. They could have had feelings and emotions. They really could have cared about you. But how cold and, and how emotionally unavailable this person was towards you, like you never would have known this person actually had feelings for you. You thought they got feelings for me, Blue Flying. Oh, the hell they don't. Yes, the hell they do. <laughs> Let's get one more. Then we might pull a couple tarot. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. Mm. But this person, also Scorpio, could have been afraid of commitment. They could have looked at being in a relationship and being in a commitment and having to an answer to somebody and this and that. And you, you know what I'm saying? Doing certain things, they felt like that was more like being on lockdown. Okay? That was more like a jail sentence. And for some of you, the only re reason why they thought like this was because they dealt with somebody like this from their past. Okay? They dealt with a man who shit, they couldn't make a move without this mother calling them. Hey, where you at? Who you? Who going to be there? What time you leave? What time you coming back? Or they dealt with the woman who was like, you know, on them all the time. Like, in a relationship, you got to give somebody space. You got to let that person breathe and, you know, do the things that they want to do. That's where trust come in. You know, you can trust this person to go out and do what they say they're going to do. And it don't be no BS behind it, right? But someone here, I feel like they could have been in a past relationship to where they didn't have that type of freedom. You know, when you, I feel like because of how you loved and how you made it kind of latched on to this person, you know, they felt like, oh, Scorpio are going to do me the same way. They ain't going to be able to breathe. They ain't going to be able to do this. They ain't going to be able to do that. And this is someone who just didn't want to lose their freedom here. So it was like this person looked at love. They looked at being in a relationship. It's being in lockdown. You know, that's kind of effed up. That really is how, like, people can come in and just kind of skewer your whole view of love here, you know? But this is what happened to this person. This person was very toxic, to Scorpio, but they also hated the fact that you can see right through their bullshit, okay? So let's see who we talking about. Messages for my Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. All right, so we got Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Sag. We got Libra, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, them lying ass Libras. That's what they call them. <laughs> and then we got Capricorn, Scorpio, and Heavy Taurus. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.